All right, guys. It's up in smoke. We back out here again. We out here in the Peterson vault right now. So came back. Had to come check out the vault. There's 250 more cars in here. So just stay tuned. We're gonna run through it. See what we got. So they call this the vault because it is filled with old cars, like all the way back to the 1900s flat. So you see behind me, it is nothing but old cars right here. The first car was like 1904, or so it was up there. This is like 250 cars, like I said before. It goes all the way back, all the way back down there. So. So be ready, show you guys what else we got. If I'm not mistaken, this right here is the going. Has the doors that rise up to the top. One of the first gold wings, but this goes for like clean over a million dollars. 300 SL. This car has gotten so expensive now. You can't even touch it. When you do buy it, you don't even want to touch it. It's slow as hell. It just got the cool doors, but I mean, it's part of history, so here it is in the vault. All right, all right. I know what you guys wanted to see, so this is it. The red one that you've seen in the back before. You know what it is? You might not. I see. This is what you call an Enzo. If you don't know, now you know. It's one of the most rare Ferrari you can get. And it is timeless. The body lines, the holes in it. See these two holes down there? The car is sick. The crazy part about the Vault is that it just keeps going back. Like, you look behind me. There's just more and more cars on both sides, so stay tuned, we're gonna keep walking through. We got two GTs right here. These are sick. One, this is 67. This one is like the 2001, 2006. They look bad ass next to each other. This is sick. This is sick. He's not even a fully done Viper. This is like a concept one. This is what it looked like in 1992 before they released it. I'm not sure what I should be more concerned about. The fact that they got two P1s in here, or the fact that they have a stuff bomber car. What in the world is this? Anybody, comment down below and let me know what this is. A real stealth bomber car. I'm not sure what's more astounding, this? or the second carbon P1 in the same building. It's rare to even see one P1 in general. But now to see two carbon P1s, that is in the same day, same building? MSO on that. This is sick. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's see what else we got in here. Now we're coming up to a little newer at least. Now, now no 1900s or 1920s, none of that. We're at least up to like 1950s here, but almost all past this. 
This is like one of the first Honda Civics, if I'm not mistaken. The Honda N600. Look how small this is. That is sick. It's pretty clean too. I don't know how they kept it like this all this time. Must have restored it, but very, very rare. Batmobile, but instead of black, it's gold. But it's not. I don't know what this is. A Zeno 3 designed by Nick Pug. This is sick though. Looks like a T-Rex slingshot. Batmobile type of thing. Now this is unique right here. This is called the 1959 Corvette Italia. Alright, let's continue walking. Got some crazy looking cars right here. I don't know what this is. See something back here that Westland Diesel would 100% approve of. You know what I'm talking about? Let's see in just a second. That is sick. Just sick. They got some really old motors right here. Oldsmobile. 427. I don't even know how they even talk in motors like that. Back in the days, they said, well, I got a big block. 427 Chevy, this, that. I, I don't know what that means. I, I don't even know wh what the numbers stand for. If somebody could explain that to me, maybe you gotta look it up tonight, but I think I'm about to do some homework. There's no way I'm getting this old and doesn't know what the hell those numbers mean, but it's what it is. Now this right here is more of my style. I have no idea what this is. Somebody could tell me. All I see is, I, I'm a Honda guy, this is what I do. I, I don't know what kind of car this is, this is insane. FC Sport, more Honda. What in the world is this? Honda FC Sport. They have become a millionaire, I'm gonna go find me one of these. Adding this around to the collection. If anybody has ever heard of this car or seen it, let me know more about it. This is my first time ever hearing about this. It looks ridiculous though. Look at this on the tool. I don't even know what this is. These are sick. And I don't see no tailpipe, so I'm just gonna assume it's electric. Yeah man. Any of you guys know what these are? Drop some names down below. What's going on, man? This is things that's sick. Ah, right, man. Thanks. Now this is pretty cool. This is the real speed racer car, the Mach 5. Pretty sure you guys all know what this is already. The classic, classic car, been in cartoons, real movies, you name it. Pretty cool to see in person. Everybody today knows Tesla for like the Model 3, the Model S Plaid, the Model X with the doors that go up. But right here is the first Tesla I've ever seen them come out with. Tesla Roadster, it was a complete dumpster fire, I'm pretty sure. This is an old model too. I think it was like 2006, maybe 10. There's two right here. One in green, one in red. These are hard to find and they really are trash. But this is, it came a long way. They need to make another car like this though. Enough with the four door family cars. Get back to the street performance car. At least got that little sleek supercar looking body line so. Should definitely keep that up. This is pretty sick too. A Batman replica vehicle from the 60s. Like when Batman and Robin was outside. It was outside outside in these. This is sick though. 
Never heard of this car brand. But it looks sick. Got the big over fenders up front. This one too. The green is sick. They're both the same brand. I don't know what's the difference, but never even heard of this brand. But it's here next to the Bugatti. They all got the same kind of big fenders. This is sick though. Now I had to circle back to this one, not to give praise, but just because of what it is. This is literally Saddam Hussein's old car. They killed him, hung him, and took it from him. I didn't know that. These pedals right here are for the Secret Service members to stand on as they were driving for protection. That is sick. For those of you who don't know who Saddam Hussein is, look it up. He was a scumbag. But this is just something to be seen. It's literally a convertible. Six door, basically. And it was literally owned by Saddam Hussein. This is sick. Can't believe they're actually showcasing this here. This is the only one of these in the world. Like this is sick. Still can't believe this. Because the door is perfectly circled too. That is nuts. The slanted windshield. The slanted grill. That is sick. Came out perfect. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this one. We came, we saw all 250 cars. If you're ever in LA, come to the Peterson Auto Museum. They got a lot of cool stuff down here. If you're into cars, you'll love your time you spent here. So, that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Peace.